Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so, we just got uh, one of What a Geek's uh, red saves working here so that we can start registering Pokemon for round two. So, I'll put on the screen now, but we did another poll where we asked people what we should do on round two in terms of do we do new Pokemon like that we trained? Do we do half and half between rentals and trained Pokemon? Or do we do all rentals? And I am very, very happy that after, I think it was like 20,000 votes, landslide victory for all of our own trained Pokemon that What a Geek has been training for us, which is great because otherwise this Let's Play will never end. Okay, uh, so he's got some Poke Cup stuff for us. I think uh, you said you also have some Prime Cup stuff for us, right? On the yellow cartridge? Yeah, but um, did you even transfer them in from the red cartridge just now? Um, no, but we can register them in from this page if we just oh, go to Wada on here. Uh, okay, so if... Okay, so it's got all of it here in this box. So we've got a bunch of level 50 stuff here for our potential, uh, our potential Pokemon Prime Cup team. So tell me a little bit about these Pokemon. What are we taking here? I actually don't remember um, exactly what I gave them. I remember Boldrome here having um, the ability to learn Double Edge, but I just never got the TM for it. So mm. um, I think I had stopped right around Sylphco, where I think that was accessible. Okay, I'm really, really liking the ride on here. We gotta take that. Earthquake, mm. Dig, Rock, Slide, Body Slam is really nice. Um... <laughs> Submission oh, locate. God, it sucks that fighting moves in Gen 1. Like, it really is slim. They're just not good. Got a it's lot just, of dudes with Earthquake. Y you can really tell there that, that they're not very good, considering it has two fighting moves, Earthquake, which is on another Pokemon, and then Karate Chop, which for some reason is normal. I think the main uh, failing point here is that none of these guys have fire moves. Uh... And I think I was also running under the assumption that we could do, uh, like, we can mix and match Pokemon from here and also from our other team from Yellow. Uh, I think I would have to insert that, move them into the game's storage box, and then register them through that. Is there a way we could register these guys and then try with the yellow stuff? I know the yellow stuff wasn't working just now, but... Yeah, so off screen, we were just trying to get the yellow cartridges working again, and it just wasn't for some reason. I probably need to toy around with it a bunch. Uh, I can't mix and match the registrations on them without moving them into the actual game's storage box. Because then I could have... Uh, the game storage box to register between like both of them, both of the different okay. save files. Because here we don't really have a, a lot of type combos to work yeah. with. Yeah, we don't really have great coverage here. I mean, we have this, no. which is pretty great, but overall, a lot of we're earthquake lacking. dudes. Yeah, yeah, we're lacking. Okay. I was that's why I was assuming we were gonna mix and match from what we currently already have. This should be enough to at least do Pokeball Cup, because for anyone who doesn't know, what a geek, very limited on time right now, and so we only have time to get like three episodes in before he's gonna be busy for a couple weeks, so let's try and do what we can. I think this is enough that we can just bully our way through Poke Cup, Pokeball Cup at least. We could always just bring um, number two right here where we got Dodagama. That is a good team. It's like a half and half team, which I'm sure no one would complain about. Um, ma us making it harder on ourselves. Well, do we want to try this new team or do we want to try the previous one for this? this Let's is, try uh, the new team first. Okay, this is Pokey yeah, We, Cup, we don't Pokey really Ball. have anything to lose. Yeah. Look, it's just Juggler. We're, I had someone ask me on Curious Cat today. For anyone who doesn't know, I think it's in the description of like all the videos. I have a Curious cat, cat account. It's just where you can make anonymous questions and stuff. Uh, or you can say anonymous questions. Someone was asking when we're doing Pokemon Stadium 2 and if it'll be up in the next few weeks. And I'm just going to guess they're not caught up with the series. That or they don't know that once you beat the game, there's round two and you have to do the whole game again. Because we're not even halfway. It's probably going to be a few months before we do Pokemon Stadium 2 at the earliest. Um, so what are we fighting here? I... So, so the Abra. real answer to their question is yes, no. 
Uh, so I like Alakazam. I like uh, Vaporeon, and uh, Kulu Yaku. That's isn't that like the bird with the egg? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the klepto bird. Yeah. Well, Thunderbolt would be fine. Thunderbolt, nice beam. Why not? <laughs> yeah, but he's but he's got Hitmonlee and Graveler, and both yeah. of them are physical attackers. And Kulu Yaku's defense is <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, that, is a, that is an absolutely amazing Pokemon. Just looking at the stats was just fucking awesome. The health and then the attack stats. and defense. <laughs> I, I want to have like all. I want to see like all normal attacking moves <laughs> on a <laughs> on that. I can see why you didn't opt for stuff like double slap. I I just it's the first round. I should so. have. <laughs> double slap, karate chop. It's round one. I can just jump in, and if we fail, we can no, jump right back two. in again. Yeah, you know what two. I mean. Oh, I saw you used a, a PowerPoint up on Psychic. That's really nice. All right, how much? I do notice that they are not that they're using level fifty-two. Is already Pokeball Cup, Poke Cup round one. That's and concerning. Of all the Pokemon I've trained up. By which I mean used uh, missing no rare candies on Malfestio here is the only one that has not gone over level fifty. Just Man. to make it fair. Okay. I wish I fought Malfestio more. That monster's He's cool. great. He's a cool monster. It's like an I... owl thing. Okay, you guys are gonna have to remind me often on what the hell these Pokemon are based on the names. Uh, well, Bulldrum is kind of easy to figure out which one yeah, of our Pokemon yeah. is a bull. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna switch to him anyway. I was just it took me a second to remember that Vaporeon is a Vaporeon, because his name isn't that. And I'm yeah. not familiar enough with a lot of these uh Monster Hunter monsters to be able to figure out intuitively what it's supposed to be. Okay, right. he's using Metronome. I'm not concerned. Oh no. Oh, not no. your precious defense. <laughs> we're done for. When he comes up at us with tackle, we're done. Uh, I'm just gonna body slam him. I think I also brought Stomp on him so that uh, if anyone uses Minimize, you can do double damage. Nice. I mean, it's easy to get for him, right? Doesn't he just learn it naturally? I think so, yeah. Might start with it. I think Horn Attack is the starting one. Nice. So, scooch, scooch, scooch. in the poll that I did... It's got like a comment section because it's on the YouTube discussion page, whatever they call that now, like community discussion something. The community page? Yeah, whatever they call that. Um, they, uh, a lot of people were saying that they've been replaying the game recently because, you know, that they've been watching us play it and they want some, make them want to play it again. And yep. that, yeah, round two with rentals is the worst thing in the universe. Uh, we've also had some people comment us on the YouTube videos in general and say we should probably just use trained Pokemon from the beginning in Pokemon Stadium 2 because it's really hard from the beginning. I don't specifically remember it being really hard, but I do remember I was able to beat round one as a kid uh, of Pokemon Stadium 1. I wasn't able to beat half of round one on Pokemon Stadium 2 as a kid. And I don't know if that's because I was just not very good at it, which I wasn't, or if it legitimately is that much harder. Really? They just keep using metronome and keep getting total duds. Huh. I can tell you right now, when I was a kid and I played Pokemon, I didn't, I wasn't good. Yeah, I wasn't either. When I like, first I, played it, played... I beat it, but I didn't do oh, yeah. anything optimally. I, I beat it, but I, it doesn't mean I'm good. I was actually yeah. probably one of the worst Pokemon players ever. I would use the move that I thought was the coolest to be yeah. battles. Yeah, which is a really bad habit, but yeah. kids, you know. you you. Plus, when you grow up with Gen 1, you don't know what half the moves do. It doesn't tell you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Did anybody really know that Slash crit extra often if you didn't read the premium strategy guide? Because crits were like every other turn in that game. Yeah. Like, you just don't notice these things. Like... You start learning, like, agility at level 35, and you're like, oh, this must be good because I'm learning it this late. No, it's terrible. You almost never need that <laughs> move. Like, it's most useful because of a glitch. Um, okay, so I like Psychic right off the bat again. I really like Psychic right off the bat, in fact. I like Machamp for the only thing Psychic wouldn't beat. 
And I like... Rhydon for Earthquake, sure. Alright, how quickly is this gonna get really bad, do you think? Um, I think it's gonna take a little bit. Great Ball. I get the feeling late Great Ball Cup is gonna be really mean. I can't even imagine, like, I don't think I've ever gotten to Master Ball Cup. So I don't know how bad it's gonna be. Of course they send it the one Pokemon that I didn't prepare for. Okay. Just, just be psychic. Wigglytuff sucks. Brachiados is Machamp, That's Machamp, right? yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure I know this. And yeah, I probably could just use Psychic here, couldn't I? They're probably just using, like, Metronome. Actually, it's around two. They might be using, like, Thunderbolt. Maybe they could paralyze me. I was okay. going to say, this is round two. They don't do the same strategy for two rounds in a row. I could get paralyzed. Of course <laughs> I did. Of course I need to switch. God. And we gotta remember, we gotta get back in the habit of playing like it's the stadium rather than playing like it's the gym leader tower where it continues our thing in this. Yeah. Ooh. We can't just sacrifice Pokemon. Yeah. Good. More body slam. What now? Come on! Ah! You, ugh. Alright, it's, it's one of those days. It's one of those days. If I get fully paralyzed. What's that? There, it's a hit. Eight crits on the next one. Whew, okay. If I miss. Okay. Okay. One down, two to go. Well, the Pokemon I took to deal with all the poison Pokemon is paralyzed and almost dead, so I guess I'll switch for Rhydon. Have... Yeah, good thing you still have Rhydon. Yeah, Earthquake should. I, I mean, nothing they have could handle Earthquake, I don't think. Maybe that Muck would could survive a, neat, a hit. That would be a neat, shiny coughing. Yeah, I like how that one looks. It's normally really blue, but this one looks neat. Do you notice there how the menu opened and closed a bunch of times? Another minor complaint about this Hyperkin Adderall controller. The R and L buttons, you gotta really hold those things down. They're a little dodgy. At least the R button is. Hmm. Okay. Okay, they've already got moves like that. Don't burn me. Okay. If I got burned... Oh, jeez. So, so when you go into round two, they just change the chance of an effect <laughs> happening. Yeah, feels like it. Okay, okay. Okay, this sucks. Now, now Earthquake's gonna have 75 accuracy. Come on, this is the second fight of the Pokeball Cup. Okay. Good. Okay. Right on is pretty slow, right? Mm -hmm. I don't get it, because isn't Rhyhorn... Rhyhorn's a rhino. Shouldn't it be pretty fast? Rhinos are uh, fairly quick. It carries a lot of weight with it, but I don't know about fast. I don't know how much this is actually going to do. <laughs> I like that earthquake animation. <laughs> flex. He pounds the earth earthquake. with his flex. <laughs> At least that I jump. Yeah, but you cause the same kind of earthquake that he does, and all he has to do is flex. I mean, he's going to beat me. We're actually not going to get this continue. Yeah. Wow. Wasn't it the Ultra Ball Cup? of round two, where on the second battle we didn't gain a continue. I want to say it was something like that. This is happening in the Pokeball Cup of round two, which is really bad. Okay, well, we have two paralyzed people. I could actually lose. Yep. Um, yeah, I now could Fastio's actually... Dead. I could actually absolutely just lose this. Yeah, because my Festio will just die. Unless the speed difference is so great. Nope. <laughs> Karate chop. Hey, he actually chopped, and he crit, and I'm down. Okay, uh, we got one Pokemon left. This and is And I don't ridiculous. think the speed difference is going to be enough. <laughs> Literally, there was a one in six chance that they brought out the only Pokemon that my Alakazam couldn't just one-shot. And they did it, 
and then they paralyzed two of our Pokemon in a row off body slams. Like, okay, I can karate chop him and win, so I will. Actually, Earthquake. Okay. No reason not to Earthquake, okay. it's stronger. Yeah, but I think he's gonna go first and kill you anyway. Size no. and toss, we survive, we just have to wow. hope we don't get paralyzed this round. If we get paralyzed this round, we lose. Oh, thank God. Okay, I didn't want to lose my, or my, lose my, lose my, Bleh. I didn't want to lose my, uh, continue. Okay, now that was just an extraordinarily unlucky round. I hope the rest aren't like that. Like, we got really unlucky. Opened with a one in six chance of a po oh, Pokemon that we couldn't one shot with Psychic and then paralyzed two of our people in a row with a low paralysis chance attack. I mean, I guess 30, 30 or 35 isn't super low, but it's not 50. Yeah, it's still fairly low. Okay. Probably could have gotten a continue if all that didn't happen. Okay, um, I still like Alakazam. I, Earthquake wouldn't be bad here either, although two flying types. Um, so then just bring Gravios. Nick, yeah. Can you rock throw too? Oh yeah, good point. Sea King would be good against Graviados, but we could use Kulu Yaku has Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, yeah. Okay. Uh are we thinking Alakazam, Rhydon, Chansey? I was gonna say Rhydon, Chansey, Alakazam, because uh Rhydon is good against four of these things and resists Licky Tongue for the most part. Okay, good point. That's fair. Are you happy with this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Seems fine. All right, what's he opening with? I like Rhydon. I'm happy we're getting to use it. That's fine. Earthquake will kill it. It might have, like, Confused Ray or something. That could be annoying. God, it's big. So big. <laughs> of course it has Confused Ray. Ah. All right, all right. It attacked itself. Oh my Wham. god, what an animation. <laughs> That's my other name. All right, this is just one of those days. I'm guessing we're gonna get Nightshade or maybe Lick. Or, or Hypnosis. Or, or he's switching for a flying type while I'm earthquaking. How much you wanna bet? Or is it Sea King? Sea King, okay. Probably oil just gonna paintings, punch it though. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, it's uh. It's one of those days. Okay, Kaluyaku. See, this just makes me want to Google, like, you know, does Pokemon Stadium round two cheat? Yeah, you know what? Just Google it. I'm curious. I don't think it does, but I'm curious. Google it. What but, shows up? But our, but our extreme luck, you know? Yeah. Okay, it's using a special move. That's fine. I like that animation a lot, actually. All right, I just said it into the microphone, but then it auto-completed when I put down, does Pokemon ST? <laughs> then it finished it with Stadium Cheat. <laughs> I swear to God, Google is listening. Like, I know that sounds like a conspiracy theory thing, <laughs> but more and more over the last year, I've had friends come up to me, like YouTuber friends specifically, people who have microphones attached to the computer and Chrome open at all times, and they fucking come up and they tell me they will have just been talking about something with their friend. They go to Google it and it'll autocomplete the whole very obscure thing from very early. And I'm starting to think that th is there like some kind of background option in Chrome where it's like anonymously send data to help you with your Google searches. <laughs> and what it doesn't tell you is just listen to your mic. Because if so, can someone inform me where that is so I can turn that shit off? That's creepy. Uh. No, because now when I Google it, all it says is Pokemon Stadium cheats, like cheat codes. <laughs> okay. Still, on Google's end, that's concerning. Why did they know you were going to search that? There's Because if you're not finding many results, not many people must be searching that, right? Well, I'm sure they're lo looking for it to find the actual cheat codes. Okay, yeah, but didn't but, you type... But did, wasn't your autocomplete, do they cheat? No, it was does Pokemon... On Stadium cheat. Okay, you wouldn't be searching does Pokemon Stadium cheat if you were looking for cheat codes. You'd be looking at Pokemon Stadium cheats. That's Who's true. Malifesto Tio again? That's Alakazam. Alakazam. Uh, 
Uh, should I just go back to Gravios? Or gra gra Gravios? Gravios. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, because I don't think Chansey has any real advantage here. But Lucky Tongue's probably going to go for a confusion move. He always does. Yeah, he seems to always go, like, supersonic first. Okay, that's that's another move he likes. Yeah, all there is is a uh, a forum thread on Cerebi where people are agreeing in theory that the game is rigged in round two. Okay. I, Nobody confirms I mean, it, but... I'm sure there's someone who's done a deep dive on the code of the game and tried to figure out, like, if it cheats. Like, if it picks a move after you've already picked yours, maybe, and it knows what move you picked, or, you know, something like that. I, I don't think it did in round one, but it could be programmed differently in round two to cheat to make it smarter. You know, in, in a, most RTSs, real-time strategy games, you know, whether it be StarCraft or Age of Empires or whatever, as you bump up the difficulty, because the AI can't actually get super smart compared to a human, they just cheat and get all kinds of bonuses. So it wouldn't surprise me if in this game, which is another kind of strategy game, this one's just turn-based strategy, it's RPG, if they up the difficulty partly by having the AI cheat. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, that will take it out, right? Okay, okay. You know, there's a lot of Pokemon in Gen 1 where it's just kind of something and it's very hard to describe what it is, and I like that. There's a lot of Pokemon that very much are just like, I doodled this crazy thing, let's try to make this into a Pokemon, and I love that. I love that they do that. Okay, if I snap out of confusion this turn, and I think I will, then I think I one-shot him, and we get a continue. That's one of my if favorite kind of games in this game. Yeah, if not, we punch ourselves, and because of all the screeches, we go down. Cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> really would have been safer to just switch into Alakazam. I don't know why I didn't speak up before. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have. It didn't come to mind. I thought I could just take him on Earthquake, but I was pretty sure Confusion was going to wear off that round, but I wasn't thinking. Alright, take him out. I, I hope they're not. That would be really weird. <laughs> making sparks fly without electric moves? Yeah. There we go. Okay. With a ghost right. and a weird fox thing. Yay! All right, we got time we for win. one more fight in this episode. We can't go five to ten minutes over time every episode like we did for the last three. I know everyone's going to be disappointed about that, but time crunch. You know how it is. Every, everyone here has their own life, too. Uh, except for me. <laughs> this is my life. There he is. Rocker. Okay, okay. What Not do we feel like? We three electric this. types, so I already really like uh, Gravios. I'm seeing three um, grass types as well, who two of them are also poison. Uh, Kuliaku has Ice Beam. Who I like for this battle is Bulldrome. <laughs> Me too, actually, because he can Earthquake. Bulldrome has Earthquake. He'll yeah. Earthquake, he's fast, he'll definitely take out the electric types, and he's not weak against grass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bulldrome... Malfestio. Sorry, I have it. to learn these. And, and... Kuluyaku for the Ice Beam. Oh, Ice Beam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are we cool with opening with Bulldrome? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jump right in. So what is the one that Alakazam is? Like, what is that monster in Monster Hunter? I don't think I've run into it. It's a blue owl thing. <laughs> It's got He's, kind of a jester mask going for it, and its armor set makes you look kind of like a jester with like a white mask and blue uh, attire. Which okay, one? That sounds pretty cool. In which game? He, in he was in Generations and Generations Ultimate, and okay. he his afflictions will turn your controls around. Oh, like that's that's the confusion <laughs> uh, I effect, that. I believe. Oh. And he can also put you to sleep. That sounds nasty. Brandon, mm -hmm. you probably know every monster in Monster Hunter that I've run into, because I I think the most recent time I played was with you. I yeah. think. Yeah, you've only run into a few. I fought, like, 
10 different monsters? Something like that? That feels a bit right. Was it 10 different ones? I know that we fought a few of them over and over. You fought J Great Jagras, obviously, because who hasn't, but... Um, do I body slam or switch? What do you think? If you switch, you'll be able to take it out pretty easily. Kuliaku? I was going to say Malfestio. Oh, yeah, because it's part poison. I mean, Either what's the worst that Gloom's got? Effect moves, and it's not going to be going for, like, sleep Stun's powder or anything right now because I'm already paralyzed. So I'm going to guess he uses, like, Acid, maybe Mega Drain? Maybe Leech Seed. Acid, okay. What the? Oh, well, that that was a lazy animation. Wow, he crit. That actually really hurt. I don't even remember how far into Monster Hunter World you got. Not super far. The The newest area I remember... Uh, I think I got an area past, like, the graveyard. The what? The, there's Rotten like vale. a Rotten oh. Vale, sure. It's Rotten the one vale. with Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. Rotten. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I got an area past that. I got to one where, like, there's a lot of you got, fancy looking you got, forests that are, like, bright and glowy, if I remember. I don't know. This was, like, over no, that, a year ago. That, that's the one before the Rotten Vale, but yeah. Oh. We're probably just back into the into the Coral Highlands. Okay, Coral Highlands and the Rotten Vale are the newest place I've been to. Sorry for okay. everyone who has no idea what Monster Hunter is and could not possibly care. But if you do <laughs> like Monster Hunter, Brandon's Monster Hunter chan uh, challenges on his channel are doing really well. So, you they know, are. link to what so a geek and Brandon's channels are in the description of all these Pokemon Stadium episodes if you want to check them out. I've been toying with the idea of doing a Monster Hunter Generations playthrough. Do it. Do People it. People would watch it. Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you've been doing a lot of Mystery Dungeon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody who likes Mystery Dungeon, if you don't want to wait to see me play it blind, which I will do it eventually. In fact, Wadakiko will probably be there for that, almost definitely. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you want to go just watch some of that new remake of Mystery Dungeon, Wadakiko's been covering that a lot on his channel. So there you go, video. more stuff to watch. New video goes up every day. Yeah, I saw someone tweeting, and I think I was, like, also in the tweet. So I, so I got added for it, but they were just, like, thanking you for putting up just non-stop Pokemon videos so they they get stuff to watch, you know? Mm -hmm. However, that does not make me a PokeTuber. Please don't call me that. <laughs> I get called that a lot, and on my personal stance on it, I don't call myself a PokeTuber. I don't think I've earned the accolade because less than 1% of the videos on my channel are Pokemon. I, I have, like, over 5,000 videos on my channel. I've been doing this non-stop for nine years. Um, so I don't call myself a PokeTuber, but if someone else wants to point at me and say, you're a PokeTuber because the majority of your views are from Pokemon, uh, I think I think that's technically correct now. I think over 50% of my views are from Pokemon. So if that's your criteria, then yeah, sure, you can call me that if you want. You can call me whatever you want. I don't necessarily need to agree or disagree. It's up to opinion, you know? Um, next episode, everybody, we beat up an old man and his animals. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Maywack.